Hello everybody, Ardrum here. Welcome back to Victoria 3. I just noticed we have shortage of or expensive military goods. That's our radios. Uh, let's try to produce more, but I'm guessing if I try... It's not going to be profitable, even though we have a shortage of them. Ah, uh, they kind of broke the economy. Uh, feels like they did. Maybe I'm missing something? Okay. We will actually make some profit here. Let's subsidize all of these, because we actually need radios for our military. Are we winning? We are winning. These two battalions are just stuck there. What are you doing? You know, I sent you to fight. This. I'm guessing you're gonna lose, though. Let's have you go back. Oh, I can't. You are stuck. What I'm going to do is... I've noticed that technology doesn't matter in this game. Numbers matter more than technology, which makes no sense. I'm just going to make one fleet, one powerful fleet. And try attacking with it. Or maybe I'm actually even... Nothing happened. Oh, we're losing now. Unacceptable government? What? This game is weird. Conservative Party won. Liberal Party is the follow-up. But the Communist Party is the... Mm. That... Oh, we're losing convoys. They are sinking our convoys. What happened? I, know, I must have not hit confirm. Let's. Okay, I have smaller numbers, but I definitely have more superior fleet. They have frigates and men of war. If my fleet gets defeated, then, then that's just ridiculous. I'm gonna try a naval invasion. Well, let's give you another general. I mobilize my conscripts is am I gonna just instantly start losing? I've noticed I think that's why I lost the previous war. If you mobilize your conscripts, there's a bug. Yeah, there it goes. Oh no, nope, maybe not. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> uh let's give you another general. And let's hire some more troops. 
Or is that why I, I was hiring troops last time as well? Ooh, uh, I better check if all my armies are stable. Yeah, organization is fine. We are losing. That... Mm, how... How are we losing? Why are we losing? Oh no, we won. Oh, okay. I always got used to my country being on the left and it was on the right this time. Okay. So that was... You? Um... Try naval landing. Let's split their army so they have to fight on multiple fronts. Lay the foundation, skyscrapers. Okay. We start building Laplace. I think we're winning. Our navy is actually doing... Oh. Nope, nope, never mind. How is... How are we losing? Oh, the... They screwed up, okay. So, military action is doesn't depend on the skill of the general, it's more random dice roll in this game. Infertile grounds, finding both the- okay, somebody left, good riddance. We have politely inform him his presence is unwanted. We are... we might be winning, maybe. Oh, that we have multiple fronts, and now they're... Wait, what? What was that? Why did my army... Liberal Party won? They're losing power rank? Why? And now we're losing war. Oh. We're giving plus 10 army offense. I guess that didn't really take effect. I have no idea what's going on. I have no clue what's happening. There's like giant number of fronts you can be fighting on, but all my soldiers seem to always go to one place and fight there instead. We are kind of winning though. An ultimatum. The petite bourgeoisie has issued a stern ultimatum to uh, Inibal Lynch about calling the party line for proposal for workers' protection. I don't know. I don't need radicals. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't think this is going to pass. Uh, central planning unlocked. Oh. oh, we won. Nice. And I'm guessing a lot of turmoil and devastation. Electric for the exempt ones. Gonna do anything with that? That. tools for the exam Leave that as it is. Uh, dice all of these. Position members put forth commands. I guess we'll just take this. Uh, uh, what did I want to research? I can't. Plastics? Yeah, we have plastics. Oh, I need to switch some of my production and get more glass. Question engines. Let's concentrate on military a little bit. Not that it matters. We're almost done with the game. Oh, let's go in CO training. Why not? Uh, plastics. Generate more pollution. We'll need more oil. Losing power rank, that's not good. Um, 
recruit some battalions. Let's give you a couple of siege infantry. Where's my navy? Why is my navy not showing up on the map? Uh, the petite bourgeoisie have issued this turn ultimatum. Let's just pick this one. I don't want radicals or a chance of radicals. That is weird. It's not showing where my navy is. Unless I select military view. Huh. Oh well. We are almost done. Last month. Game over. Uh, we are number 12. I dropped two ranks and I have no idea why. see what who, who is higher though that's weird most domestic product prestige drop why my prestige just dropped right there I can't tell why Did we lose so much prestige? What happened? You... Interface, stop it. What are you doing? There we go. Ah. Well, I don't know what we lost. We lost something. Our army projection dropped. It was over a hundred. Why? We didn't lose military. I, I gained more military. Oh, it's because we lost a bunch of manpower during the war. Okay. Uh, maybe having a war right before the end of the game was a bad idea. I'm betting as our manpower goes up, we'll go back to... Let's just make... yeah. By 58? Yep. Our prestige is going up as our manpower is building back up. Because we lost the soldiers during war. Yeah, we have a bunch of... French infantry, platoons or divisions, whatever. Old that are not full 
hour. Yep, it is going up really quick. So yeah, that was a mistake fighting a war right before the end of the game. I just had Benjamin. Uh I think that's it for the series though. I I don't know. Um There's a lot of new mechanics in 1.5 that I had to relearn. A lot of weird things. We are finally starting to grow population in this state, but almost throughout the whole game, I couldn't get enough people in to work. I still can't. Yep. I don't know why, but oh well. Oh, I guess because the game is over, this event stopped. Well, yeah, I don't have the increased immigration from Europe. Unless it's only the one specific state. Oh, that's not going to end well. Because when... Unless they win. If they win the revolt, we'll still get population. Yeah, we had an increased immigration all over the board. It's probably because the game is over. Uh, and our rank is going back up. Yeah, it's because we lost a lot of manpower during the war. Okay. Uh, overall, it's not bad. Except for a few issues that I seem to have with getting enough population. But that might be just because you start out with a super low population in South America. Everywhere. If Maybe if I prayed played as Brazil, it would have been easier. I don't know. Bigger country, I think they ha start out with... Actually, their population is smaller than mine. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, for South America, struggling with population was my biggest issue. Not being able to build your industry Especially like this area, I couldn't get anybody to move in. Actually, people were moving out. I was having a lot bigger... I had, what, one time, almost 20 or 50% negative immigration, so... I don't know. The, the balancing they did for population at the end of the game, it seems to impact smaller countries a lot more because you don't get as much population growth or it might be just the area overall uh actually 1.5 wasn't too bad uh the flavor pack i i didn't pay attention to most of it i think it was interesting but i never played south america before so i don't know what was different i mean i'm guessing a lot of the events that was the new stuff um, uh, military still seem to be hard to control on what front you attack. Or, I... Maybe I missed something? I probably did. Overall, I, I enjoyed this little patch, I guess. It's a free update that added a bunch of new... New stuff. Oh, I need to... Um... Overall, I think I enjoyed this game. I, I guess, yeah, as I said, biggest problem is the population for me. 
trying to build your empire with a um, smaller population is kind of hard. But at the end, it they seem to have a bunch of events which were increasing my population. Populating the Americas. What, in the last 20 years, I gained 7 million population, I think? Which made it possible to grow a lot of my... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was, was around 2 million for the last 20, 30 years. And just uh, jumped up. I went through a few patches. I wonder if they balanced it. And maybe future games are going to be a lot better. Uh, overall, yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I, I like Victoria 3. And they're constantly doing new stuff. I think they need to do a bunch of balancing on the economy stuff because, uh, well, they added in local economies or local, uh, I don't know what to, production, local production queues, I guess, or where if you're producing lumber, then it's cheaper to produce paper because that's what paper needs. It also needs dyes. So if you produce dyes, sulfur, and lumber in an area, that will be the best one to produce paper in. So that's kind of interesting and makes it more interesting. But the problem is, if the farther something is from a production area, the more expensive goods are. Especially when you start running into uh, your infrastructure uh it's not good enough to transport all those those goods to an area. It just has like a domino effect. Um, but overall, um, I think it probably needs more, a little bit more balancing, economy-wise. Uh, basically, I had to subsidize every business I have. We're running out of transportation. I should have subsidized this. Yep. Well, eh, too late now. Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I did enjoy the game. I enjoyed it a lot. I'll probably play more in the future. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And thank you for watching this series. Thank you for sticking around if you got this far. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, maybe go ahead and subscribe. Maybe hit that like button. Leave a comment. I'll, I'll see you guys all in another series. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.